2023, I made a bunch of videos about free software on this channel. I talked about more than 75 different free softwares to be exact. Now, I put all those videos together to make a big collection of the best free software I found this year. This video might have some repeated stuff, but I put chapters in the pinned comment to help you find the specific software you want. I really hope you like the video. Let's get started. Setting up a new computer can be overwhelming, but having the right software can make a big difference. In this video, I'm going to share my top picks for the best free software that you should consider installing on your new PC. And if you hate the Windows 10 and 11 start menu and the taskbar like I do, be sure to stick around to the end of the video for a solution to that. First up, the web browser. I recommend using Microsoft Edge, which is already included in Windows 10 and 11 for free. It's packed with different features like performance and optimization, privacy settings, great built-in security and productivity features to make browsing easier. It also features a rewards program if you're interested in that. If you use Microsoft Edge, I would suggest downloading and installing the Adblock Plus extension as Microsoft Edge doesn't include a built-in ad blocker. If you do insist on using another browser, the Brave web browser is also free and open source, based on the Chromium web browser, just like Microsoft Edge. Brave is a secure, fast, and privacy-focused web browser, which automatically blocks online ads and website trackers in its default settings. It also features a lot of great features, including rewards and a crypto wallet. Here you can see a detailed security comparison versus other popular browsers. Next up is an office suite you can use to create and edit documents, spreadsheets and presentations. I suggest using LibreOffice for these tasks. It's an open source office suite that includes word processing, spreadsheets and presentation software. LibreOffice is a great alternative to paid programs like Microsoft Office and it's fully compatible with most popular file formats. It might take some time to get used to the user interface as it is a little outdated compared to Microsoft Office or some other free alternatives out there, but it's by far the best free pick and a must have on your PC. LibreOffice also has the ability to export your documents and spreadsheets directly as PDF files without any issues. After installing LibreOffice, be sure to change the default saving file types to Microsoft recognized formats so people who use Microsoft Office can open and edit the documents you send to them. For emails and calendar management, I recommend using EM Client or M Client. It's great for sending and receiving emails, managing calendars, tasks, contacts, and notes. It was developed as a user friendly alternative to existing email clients and calendar solutions, and it's a great alternative to Microsoft Outlook. It also features a great user interface with different themes. The user interface looks and functions a lot like Microsoft Outlook. Outlook with easy access to a send and receive or refresh button. It features the same look as other popular mail clients by having the mailbox and its folders set up on the left pane. Here you can access the calendar, contacts and tasks. You also have the option of adding a signature to your emails and it's really simple to set up. EM Client is free for personal use and allows you to set up two email accounts in the free version. No one wants to use web browsers to view PDF files. That means you will also need to download and install Adobe Acrobat Reader. Adobe Acrobat Reader is a free standalone application that you can use to open, view, sign, print, annotate, search, and share PDF files. On top of that, it has been around since 1993 and is the number one leader in the PDF industry. When you download this, be sure to uncheck the free McAfee antivirus trial. If you want to learn more about computers and software, then you need to hit the subscribe button right now. To keep your new PC safe from viruses, malware and other online threats, you'll want to install a reliable antivirus program. You only need one antivirus or real-time scanner on your new PC and installing more than one can severely slow down your PC. I suggest using Kaspersky Free Antivirus as it's a great choice, offering basic protection against viruses, malware, trojans, ransomware and other threats from harming your devices and data. Kaspersky Free consists of top 
top-rated security technologies and auto-analyzes real-time data on new threats to help protect your new PC from a range of dangers. It was also designed to protect devices without slowing them down, so you can be sure that the performance of your new PC won't be impacted. Kaspersky Free also received really good reviews the last time it was tested by industry professionals and is one of the top free antivirus programs you can install. Malwarebytes Anti-Malware is another great tool for keeping your new PC safe. This free software can detect and remove malware that your antivirus program might miss, and it's easy to use. Malwarebytes offers a 14-day free trial, but I recommend deactivating the trial if you don't want to see ads or pop-ups to purchase the program. As this is not a real-time scanner, unless you pay for it, I also uncheck the Run on Windows Startup and manually open the program and run scans every week week or every other week. After a while, your new PC will start to become slow and feel unresponsive at times. CCleaner is a free and really powerful system optimization tool that can help to clean up the hard drive or solid state drive and improve your computer's performance. With CCleaner, you can remove temporary files, invalid registry entries, and other junk that can slow down your system. I suggest that you uncheck the Enable Smart Cleaning option and to disable CCleaner at Windows Startup to prevent annoying pop-ups in Windows. For multimedia purposes, I suggest using VLC Media Player. It's a cross-platform media player that can play a wide range of audio and video formats. Whether you want to watch movies, listen to music or view your own videos, VLC has you covered. Sooner or later, you will need to zip or unzip files. 7-Zip is a free, open source tool that supports a wide range of formats. 7-Zip is fast, reliable and easy to use, making it a great addition to your new PC. Now, just like I promised, we will be replacing the start menu in Windows 10 and 11. If your PC is running Windows 10, you will only need to install the first program, which is called Classic Shell. Classic Shell is free software that improves your productivity, enhances the usability of Windows, and empowers you to use the computer the way you like it. There are a variety of settings that you can change, but I leave everything on default and just change the skin to Windows Aero. If your PC is running Windows 11, you have the option of only installing Classic Shell like Windows 10 users, in which case you will have two separate start menus. One being Classic Shell, which will be aligned to the left of the taskbar, and the other being the Windows 11 start menu, which is aligned to the middle of the taskbar by default. If your PC is running on Windows 11, I suggest that you download and install Explorer Patcher and use it in conjunction with Classic Shell. Explorer Patcher aims to enhance the working environment on Windows 11 and has a number of different features, but our main use for it is to completely transform the taskbar so it resembles the look of Windows 10 and it automatically aligns the start menu to the left of the taskbar. Those were my top picks for the 10 best free software you must install on your new PC. I hope you found this video helpful and let me know in the comments which of these free programs made your life easier and if you know of a great free program I didn't include, be sure to mention it down there as well. See ya next time. If you're looking to discover new free software and increase the usability of your computer, then you need to watch this video, because in this video I'll be covering 5 free programs you might not have heard of before. Plus, I'll be taking you through most of their functions and features. If that sounds interesting to you, be sure to stick around and let's get started. First up, we have Hybrid Uninstaller, which is a highly effective program capable of uninstalling stubborn software, Windows applications, and browser extensions. It also provides various other features that you can use to boost your computer's performance, which we'll touch on a little later. Using a third-party program like Hybrid Uninstaller has several advantages over the default uninstall function in Windows. By using Hybrid Uninstaller, you can easily uninstall software from your PC, even if it has become corrupted and cannot be removed using the default uninstall. 
install functions. This can save you time by ensuring that all unused and unnecessary software is removed from your system without spending time diagnosing any errors. Hybrid Uninstaller offers both an installable and portable version. I'll be using the portable version in this video. The primary function of Hybrid Uninstaller is to uninstall programs. On the main screen, I can see all of the installed programs in the form of a list and choose which ones to uninstall. I'll right click on the program I want to uninstall and now I can choose to do a normal uninstall or a force removal. I'll click on force removal so I encounter as little resistance as possible. Next, I'll tick the boxes automatically clean up and advanced scan. Once that's done, I'll click on scan. After the initial removal, it'll show a list of leftover files, folders and registry entries. I'll click on finish to finalize the process. Now, let's take a look at some of the other features of Hybrid Uninstaller. For starters, it has a Windows Store Apps Manager. Here you can debloat your system by uninstalling any unwanted Windows apps. It also has a browser extension manager where you can view and uninstall browser extensions. The next two features are definitely my favorites, the registry and junk file cleaners. They are both really straightforward to use. You do a scan and then you clean. The junk file cleaner has an advanced mode, but for most users, the common cleaner should be all that's needed. The next feature to check out is the startup manager, which includes a virus total scan to help you identify any malware or viruses that might be running at startup. You can use the tools shortcut manager to add shortcuts to any of these powerful programs directly to your desktop or start menu. Lastly, it also has various themes of which my favorite is Cobalt. Hybrid Uninstaller is a great free program that does more than just uninstall programs, but also has great PC optimization tools. I highly recommend checking it out. Next up, we have WizTree, a high-speed disk space analysis utility for Windows that allows you to quickly locate and assess which files and folders are consuming the most disk space. This is done by displaying your entire hard drive's file system in a visual manner, making it incredibly easy to identify large files and folders. Utilizing the information WizTree provides can help you quickly and efficiently remove any large files from your hard drive or SSD. This can be done by either deleting the large files or moving them to an external drive or the cloud. It's very important to note that any files and folders that are required for the correct operation of your PC must not be deleted. And if you are uncertain of the purpose of a file or folder, professional IT support should be consulted. Just like with Hybrid Uninstaller, I'll be using the portable version of WizTree. Let's explore the main function of WizTree, Disk Space Analysis. It helps us identify what's taking up space extremely fast as it reads the master file table on the selected drive. This can be done by selecting a hard drive and clicking scan. When the scan is complete, it offers a visual tree map of files and folders and finds and sorts the largest files first, so you can easily detect the biggest culprits. From here, I can find what's taking up the most space on my system. I can right click on the file in WizTree and delete it, which will send it to the recycle bin. But I want to permanently delete it, so I'll be holding down the left shift button on the keyboard and clicking delete. I can also use the file name search function to search for a specific type of file, like exe files, mp3s, mp4s, jpegs, and so on. So if I know I only want to display and remove a certain file type, I can use this function to search for that type of file. By rescanning the drive, we can see we have freed up some storage space, which is what this program is all about. WizTree supports multiple file systems such as NTFS, FAT, FAT32 and network drives. It even supports MTP and PTP devices like smartphones and cameras when connected via USB. So if you're constantly running out of disk space or just want to free up some disk space on your computer and back up large unused files to another drive, be sure to give WizTree a try to make the process as effortless as possible. Before we dive into the next program, if you're interested in looking for new ways to optimize your PC or just want to stay up to date with great free software, then you need to hit the subscribe button right now. I'll be posting new videos at least once a week going forward and if you don't want to miss out, you need to subscribe to this channel. The next program on this list is Syncback Free. As you can see, Syncback Free is the best free Windows backup software on the planet. Syncback Free offers a great selection of features, including file backup and synchronization, automatic scheduling of backups, and backup file compression. It works with older versions of Windows, requires no registration to gain access, and includes a variety of helpful documentation to make it easier to use, all for free, even for commercial use. 
let me show you the basics of setting it up and using it. After installing and launching the program, you'll get a prompt to visit the website for tutorials and help. You can do so if you wish, but I'll be showing you the basics in this video. Let's start by creating a new backup profile. I'll click on new and give my profile a name. Next, I'll choose what type of backup I want to use. You can click on the question mark to the left of each of them for more information, but in this tutorial, I'll be using the standard backup feature. Next, I'll choose the source and destination. You can choose to have the destination files compressed if you wish. Click OK on the prompt. Now, I will choose the source of the files I want to backup. The most common folder for most Windows users will be on the C drive, Users, and then the username they are using. Here you will find your most important and frequently used folders, such as documents, pictures, music, and so on. For now, I'll go back one level to the Users folder, click on my username, and click on Select Folder. Next, I'll choose the destination. This should be another physical drive, like an external hard drive for example, but in this video, I'll be using a network drive. I can edit the folders I back up by clicking on Choose Subdirectories and Files. Some of the files and folders that are selected might give errors when they are trying to be copied. I recommend only the following items be selected, but if you know what you're doing, you can select whatever you want. I can also set up a schedule for the backup under the When tab, and there are a number of other features I'll find when clicking on Expert Mode, but I won't be covering that in this video. I can complete the configuration by clicking OK. It'll prompt me to do a simulated run of the profile. I always skip this and do a real backup instead. Next, to perform a backup, I'll click on the black downward facing arrow next to Run, and then I'll click on Run Unattended. Run by default will run an attended backup, which means it'll prompt me if any changes needs to be made. I suggest using the unattended method most of the time. It's important to note that files can't be backed up when they are in use, so it's best to close all programs and files on your system or even to perform a full restart on the computer before running a backup. Syncpack Free is by far the best free file backup system I have come across and I personally use it in my business to run weekly backups on my server PC. Next, I'll demonstrate how to edit PDF files for free. LibreOffice is a powerful and free office suite similar to Microsoft Office, which also includes a word processor, spreadsheets, and presentation software. I'll be using LibreOffice Draw, which was originally designed as a sketch, diagram, and flowchart software, but is now a PDF editor in our case. You will need to download and install the whole LibreOffice suite from their website, and you can find the link down in the description. When it's done installing, open LibreOffice by clicking the icon on the desktop, then click on LibreOffice Draw. Here we have the main user interface, and before I show you how to edit PDF files, I need to explain that there will probably be two different types of PDF files that you will encounter. One being a form or document created using a computer, which is easier and faster to edit, and the other being a scanned PDF, which is basically an image file, which is harder to edit and will take longer. Let me show you how it works. First, open your PDF file by clicking on Open. Then select the PDF file you want to edit. When the file is open, you can start editing any of the text or pictures in that file. I can now change any of the text by simply clicking on it. I'll change the heading of this document. Now, if you happen to have a scanned PDF file, this is what you'll need to do. I've already opened the file I want to edit. I'll need to move the image file that's on top to the side to reveal the text underneath. As you can see, the text formatting isn't perfect, but I can edit it. Next, I'll select the text, right click and then click on Consolidate Text. This will fix most of the formatting issues, but you'll still have to go through the document yourself to look for any errors in the text. You can choose to add more pages to your document before exporting, but if you're done, the fastest way to export the edited PDF file is to click on export directly as PDF. If you want some more options, like signing the file with a watermark or setting a password on the document, you can go to File, Export As, then export as PDF, and you'll find those settings and a few others on this page. If you want to save it in another format, you can go to File, Export, and you will see a bunch of other file formats in the drop down menu. If you're looking for a great free PDF editor with a lot of functionality, then you definitely need to give LibreOffice Draw a try. 
The last program is called ShareX, an extremely powerful screen capture, file sharing and productivity tool. This small piece of software is packed with a variety of different features, is completely free and open source, has no ads and has been in development for over 15 years. It features a wide variety of screen capture methods with different regions you can select and different tasks and edits you can perform after capturing your screen, such as editing the screenshot in different ways and uploading it directly to Imgur. There are also a few powerful productivity tools such as a color picker, image editor, video converter and QR code generator. After downloading and installing ShareX, the program will open to a really simple UI and you'll see a window with different options and the most basic hotkeys that are preset. If you wish to change these hotkeys, you can do so in the hotkey settings tab and even add new hotkeys. Let's take a look at some of the most useful features. First, the obvious screenshots. By clicking on capture, we can see the different modes such as full screen, window, monitor and region. Region is essentially a drawing mode that lets you choose exactly what you want to capture on screen. Next is screen recording. It's a good alternative to OBS Studio if you just want to record short clips. If you're interested in using ShareX to record your screen, I advise you to go to Task Settings, Screen Recorder and Screen Recording Options. Once you make it here and you don't see all the advanced options, I recommend clicking on Install Recorder Devices. This will ensure you have more options to choose from among different videos and audio codecs. Another great feature is the OCR feature, where you can select any text on the screen even in a picture and it will be converted into text which you can copy and edit. ShareX has a load of other features which I can't cover in this video but the most notable are the screen color picker, video converter, QR code creator and different upload tasks you can perform after capture like uploading the image to Imgur. A quick tip here, if you accidentally upload a file to Imgur you can delete it by right clicking on the file in ShareX, going to open and clicking on the deletion URL. You will be directed to the Imgur website and have the option to permanently delete the file. Out of all the software I covered in this video, ShareX has to be my favorite. Which one was yours? Let me know in the comments below and if you're looking for more great free software, watch the video on screen now and I'll see you there. Have you ever made a video with free video editing software only to be disappointed at the end when you realize there's a watermark that can't be removed from the finished product? That was my experience when I first started editing videos and I don't want you to go through the same disappointment I did. That's why I'll be sharing the only three free video editors for PC without watermarks that you need to know about. And in addition to that, I'll be showcasing some of their most basic functions and features by editing a short video in each of them. But before we get into that, if you want to discover the best free software, increase the performance and usability of your PC, or learn new things you might not know about regarding computing and software, then you need to click the subscribe button right now. I upload new videos every week that cover these topics, and if you don't want to miss out on any new uploads then you need to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. DaVinci Resolve is unmatched when it comes to free video editing software on PC and you won't find anything that compares to it. The features are top tier with the most notable being the color grading tool that's even used by professional filmmakers as you can see from the popular movie footage that's rolling on their website. You might be thinking, if this is what professionals are using to create the best movies, it must be perfect. But that's not entirely true. It does have some issues which I'll touch on at the end. First, let's have a look at how it works by editing a very simple video. Upon opening DaVinci Resolve, I recommend clicking on the Edit tab at the bottom of the screen. I'll start by importing a simple video I created as an example to edit throughout this video. Next, I'll drag it onto the timeline so I can start editing it. I'm going to add some effects to the video and I'll find them by clicking on the Effects tab at the top. There are a bunch of different effects but I'll use the Spiral Wipe Transition as an intro and the Push Transition as an outro and change both of their durations. Next, I'll add a blur effect to the video and I can also change the intensity and a few other things in the Inspector tab. I can also add some sound effects and I'll add a chorus effect to the voiceover. There are some great pre-made titles in DaVinci Resolve to choose from. I'll be using Jitter here and I'll change the text in the Inspector tool. Unfortunately, auto captions or subtitles are not a part of DaVinci Resolve and you'll need to type your own. You can do so by right clicking on the timeline, adding a subtitle track and then right clicking on the subtitle track and adding a subtitle. 
from here you can edit the text in the inspector tab and add additional subtitles as the video progresses and you can change different settings like the font, size, position and so on. In the fusion tab you can do some really high tier editing and create different designs and effects. The color tab allows you to do color grading and DaVinci Resolve is one of the best programs to do this with as it's being used by professional filmmakers as mentioned earlier. The Fairlight tab lets you edit the soundtracks and you can add different sound effects and equalizers here. Let's export the video by going to the Deliver tab. I'll give the file a name and select a location to save it. I'll make sure that it's being rendered in the correct format and change the quality to high. If you've added subtitles or captions to your video, you'll need to click on the subtitle settings and make sure that it's exporting with the video. I'll go ahead and click add to render queue and then I'll click on render all. And when it's finished, we'll have a look at the finished product. This short intro serves as your video editor example. I hope you like it. DaVinci Resolve is by far the best free video editing software you can use on PC. But the major issue with it is that you need a high-end computer to run it smoothly. If you don't have a mid to high end PC, then you'll find the software unusable and very laggy. There are some settings you can change that'll make it perform better on older and low end PCs, but I think you'll have a better time with the other editors on this list if you have an older or low end PC. LipChamp is a free video editor that was acquired by Microsoft in September of 2021 and is included in the latest Windows 10 and 11 update 22H2. LipChamp is a really good option for beginners that also has a lot of great features you would expect and need from video editing software today. You can download it for Windows from the Microsoft Store or you can use the online editor in your browser if your PC can't handle the Windows version. LipChamp has a very simple mission and that is to help everyone to become a creator of awesome video content, so let's have a look by editing a simple video. Upon opening ClipChamp, we can see a basic video editor user interface with the timeline and preview in the middle and functions to the left and the right of that. I'll start by importing media. Next, I'll drag it onto the timeline so I can start editing it. I can add some text to the video by clicking on the text field which is already on the timeline by default. And here I can see all the different text templates included in ClipChamp. I'll be using the mirror title. I can edit the text that is displayed in this title and I'll change it to video example. I can also change the font and the size of it on screen. Another thing I can do is to separate the audio from the video file by selecting it on the timeline and clicking on detach audio in the audio tab. This allows me to see the audio waveforms clearly to make precise cuts in case I wanted to do that. ClipChamp has a few free sound effects, but a lot of them are only included in the premium version. I'll just add a free wish sound effect by clicking on add to timeline and I'll lower the volume and check if it's synced with the transition on screen. Short intro serves as your video editor example. The next feature I'll be using is the auto captions feature, which will auto generate subtitles for this video. I can also select different languages here, but I'll leave it on English and click on turn on auto captions. When it's finished generating the captions, I can edit it if the AI might have gotten something wrong. There are a whole bunch of other effects and filters I can use on the video, but I'm happy with the edits I performed, so I'll be exporting the video by clicking on the export tab at the top of the video preview. This will export the video project as 1080p, and it's currently the highest resolution you can select in ClipChamp. The video is exported without a watermark, let's have a look at how it turned out. This short intro serves as your video editor example. I hope you like it. ClipChamp is good because it's easy to use and the user interface is easy to learn and understand. You can really do a lot with the free version of ClipChamp, but it is limited as most of the really great features are locked behind a paywall in the premium version. If you've never tried ClipChamp before, I highly suggest you give it a go. CapCut is a free all-in-one video editor for everyone to create anything anywhere. CapCut is such an underrated video editor and the amount of features and free effects it includes are honestly insane for a free video editor without any watermark. CapCut is probably the best free video editor you can use on PC right now. It doesn't require a high-end PC and it's available for Mac and Windows or you can use the online editor in a browser if you have a really low-end PC. Let's have a look at how it works by editing a very simple video. Upon opening CapCut, we can see a really clean and well-designed video editing interface. I'll start importing media by clicking on the import button and selecting the video example. Next, I'll drag it onto the timeline to start editing it. 
Let's start by lowering the volume in the audio tab to the right of the preview. Here I can also see a lot of other edits I can make to the video clip, such as changing the speed and adding animations among other things. Next, I'll add text to the video by clicking on the text tab and then adding default text to the timeline. I can edit the text to the right of the preview and I'll change the text to your video example. I'll also change the font, size, stroke and I'll add a shadow to the text. Next, I'll add some in and out animations to the text. I need some sound effects to complement the animations I just added, so I'll go to the audio tab to the left of the preview and add some sound effects that are included in CapCut. Next, I'll add an effect to the video and I'll find a wide range of effects I can use in the effects tab. I'll be using a basic blur effect by selecting it and dragging it directly onto the video clip. I'm able to change the strength or intensity of the blur with a slider to the right of the preview. Next, I'll add captions or subtitles to the video by clicking on Auto Captions in the Text tab to the left of the preview and click on Create. When it's done generating the captions, I can edit the text. I'll edit it to my liking and also change the color of the text to yellow. I'm ready to export the video and I'll do that by clicking on Export. I'll give the exported file a name and here I can also change a lot of other export settings and even render the project at 4K resolution. I'll render the project at 1080p by clicking on export. The video is exported without a watermark. Unfortunately, I deleted the exported video and project file, but here is the edited video. This short intro serves as your video editor example. I hope you like it. CapCut is my go-to video editor and that's what I'm currently using to create the videos on this channel. I strongly recommend using CapCut if you've never used a video editor before, as it's a great free program to start with and learn the basics of video editing. Are you tired of paying expensive fees for software? Look no further. In this video, I'll be showcasing the top 5 free alternatives to popular paid software that you can't afford to miss out on. And in addition to that, I'll be sharing some secret tips and hacks you might not have known about to make these alternatives just as efficient, if not more, that'll save you a ton of money in the long run. Let's get started. Photoshop is the industry's best known photo editing application and it's used for everything from minor editing to mind-blowing photo art. Editors use it to crop photos, adjust their composition and lighting, and they can also make any subject look amazing. GIMP is the best free alternative to Photoshop. It's an open source application that's used for image manipulation and image editing, freeform drawing, and more specialized tasks. One of the biggest issues someone might have transitioning from Photoshop to GIMP is the user interface as they are a bit different. That's not really an issue though, because a group of awesome developers created a project called PhotoGIMP, and that's what we'll be using to make GIMP a little more like Photoshop. After installing GIMP, you'll need to download PhotoGIMP. Once that's done, you'll need to extract the PhotoGIMP files to a folder on your computer. When it's done, open the folder and navigate to the following path inside that folder. Here you will find a folder called 2.10 which you need to copy. Next, you need to press the Windows key and R together. This will open the run box. Type in percentage, app data percentage and press enter. Open the GIMP folder and paste the copied 2.10 folder here. Overwrite any existing files and allow any at administrative prompts. Once that's done, you can open GIMP and you should see the photo GIMP loading screen. If you don't see this, then you missed something and you need to follow the steps again. Photo GIMP resembles the look of Photoshop and you can start editing your images for free with the same functionality of paid software. Photo GIMP is available for Windows, Mac and Linux and it's a great alternative to Photoshop as it includes most of the same features but doesn't require as many resources from a PC as the paid software. Premiere Pro is an extremely popular video editor and the leading software for creating incredible videos fast with software that's always a cut above the rest, according to the Adobe website. DaVinci Resolve is the best free alternative to Premiere Pro for amateurs and professionals alike and features an extensive and advanced color grading tool for colorists, an advanced 3D workspace in Fusion and advanced audio editing in Fairlight. A paid version of the software called DaVinci Resolve Studio is available as well, but the free version is packed with so many features, chances are you won't even need to upgrade to the paid version. After downloading and installing DaVinci Resolve, you'll be prompted to go through a quick setup wizard, and if you're making the switch from Premiere Pro, it's here where you'll need to select the Premiere Pro interface so you can experience the same look and feel in DaVinci Resolve that you're used to in Premiere Pro. 
In the event that you want to change some of the keyboard shortcuts, you can find the keybind settings menu by clicking on DaVinci Resolve in the menu and then keyboard customization. Here you can edit keyboard shortcuts to your liking. One of the issues you might encounter with DaVinci Resolve is that the playback might be slower compared to Premiere Pro and that the software might be laggy and slow to respond at times. Whenever you're creating a new project, I recommend clicking on settings and then scrolling down to the optimized media and render cache. The settings you select here will depend on the specs of your computer. If you have a low-end PC, select the lowest settings available and select all the checkboxes and click save. The next thing you'll need to do to optimize performance in DaVinci Resolve is to click on playback, then proxy handling and to double check that prefer proxies is selected. Next, change the timeline proxy resolution to quarter. Head back to the playback menu and select render cache and then click on user. Before you start editing in DaVinci Resolve, make sure that you're actually in the edit tab. Adding media and effects to the timeline is the same as in Premiere Pro where you can simply select whatever you need from the media and effects pool and then drag it onto the timeline. You can also drag media onto the playback screen which will give you different options like placing it on top of the existing clip or adding it directly at the end of the timeline among other options. DaVinci Resolve is available for Windows and Mac and the free version includes an incredible amount of features. Definitely the best alternative to Premiere Pro in my opinion and worth your time. Microsoft Office is the most popular Office Suite software known to mankind and is considered to be the industry leader in Office productivity software. It typically includes the following programs, a word processor, spreadsheet tool, presentation software, and an email utility. Other more expensive versions of Office also include a database program and an entry-level graphic design program. LibreOffice is a great alternative to Microsoft Office that also includes the same basic software as mentioned before, but unfortunately doesn't include an email program but I'll be covering a great alternative to Microsoft Outlook later on in this video. After downloading and installing LibreOffice there are a few things that you need to configure or else your experience might not be what you expect if you're used to Microsoft Office. Open LibreOffice and click on Writer Document. Next click on View then User Interface then select the tabbed layout and click on Apply to All and then Close. If you don't see the menu bar at this point, you can toggle its view by clicking on the menu bar icon. Next, click on tools in the menu bar and then click on options. Navigate to the view menu and then icon themes. Here you can select other icon themes if you wish, I'll leave it on default. Navigate down to the LibreOffice Writer menu and expand it. Next, click on basic fonts. Change the default fonts to Calibri and the heading font to Cambria, which are the defaults in Microsoft Word, and then click apply. Next, expand the load and save menu click on general and then uncheck the box that says warn when saving in ODF or default format. When that's done, click on the always save as drop down menu and change it to word 2007-365. Do the same for spreadsheets and presentations in the document type drop down menu. This will ensure documents you create using LibreOffice will be saved in the correct format in the event that you need to share it with someone so they can edit it. LibreOffice is available for Windows, Mac and Linux and it's one of the best free Office Suite software you will find available today, so if you've been looking for a free alternative to Microsoft Office, I suggest you give it a try. Microsoft Outlook is probably the best all-in-one email, calendar, contacts, and tasks software you will find today. Unfortunately, it's a paid program that's part of Microsoft Office as mentioned earlier, and you can't buy and use it separately. The best free alternative is mClient. It operates on a freemium model, meaning it has a free and paid version. The free version is only for personal use and lets you configure a maximum of two mail accounts, but you're not allowed to use it for commercial purposes. If you decide to use the free version for commercial purposes, mClient will eventually revoke the free license that was issued to your email address and the program will stop sending and receiving emails until you buy a pro license which costs $50 at the time of this recording and is still cheaper than a subscription to Microsoft Office. There's one big reason I recommend using mClient over other free alternatives and I'll share that later on in this video. When first launching mClient, you'll be prompted to choose a theme. It features themes with different colors and I'll be using the dark mode. 
You will be prompted to import data from existing email programs that are installed on your computer, such as Microsoft Outlook. But you can skip this if you wish and configure your mailbox on the next page. You have the option to set up your mailbox automatically, or you can select one of the popular providers. You can also set up your mailbox manually in the other tab, and it supports POP and IMAP just like Outlook. mClient also supports encryption, and you'll be prompted to enable it, or you can choose to continue without it. When you finished setting up your mailbox, this is the user interface you'll see, which is really easy to get used to if you're coming from Microsoft Outlook. mClient also features all the other functions Outlook has, such as a calendar where you can make appointments and set reminders, and contacts you can save and share in popular formats. The one big reason I recommend using mClient over other alternatives is because it lets you effortlessly create a backup of all your data to a zip file you can restore back into mClient. If you're interested in using mClient and want a free license, you can get one by clicking on menu, then help, license, and then get a license. You'll be redirected to their website where you'll need to provide your name, email address, and agree to the terms. When that's done, they'll issue the license that you can copy and paste into mClient to activate the program. mClient is available for Windows and Mac, and if you're looking for a great alternative to Outlook or just want to get away from free online email providers with user interfaces that aren't easy to use, then I recommend that you give mClient a try. The next software on this list is a download manager that can be used to download videos or streaming media from websites. Please note that I'm not a lawyer or someone who knows all the copyright laws and I'm not trying to promote illegal activities with the software I'm about to mention. I'm simply presenting a free and legal software that can be accessed by the public and discussing its possible uses. Internet Download Manager or IDM for short is a popular paid download management software that can speed up your downloads as it can download at full bandwidth. It also lets you schedule downloads, resume or restore interrupted downloads and it provides a browser extension that lets you save streaming media from the web. If you've ever used IDM for any amount of time, you'll know it's such a convenient program to have installed on your system. Extreme Download Manager, or XDM for short, is a powerful tool and a great free alternative to Internet Download Manager. It does the same thing as IDM, although it can only increase download speeds by up to 500%. That's still five times faster than your normal download speed. XDM also offers a browser extension that integrates with all popular browsers to take over downloads and lets you save streaming media from the web. The extension installation differs depending on what browsers you're using and instructions are provided should you have any trouble setting it up. After installing the browser extension, you should see a download video button on your screen which you can click on and drag to move around. If you don't, restart your PC and try again. You can use this to download media from websites and one of my favorite features of XDM is that it has a built-in video converter which lets you instantly convert the videos to different formats so that you can watch or listen to them offline. XDM is open source and available on Windows, Mac and Linux and if you're looking for a free alternative to Internet Download Manager, I cannot recommend Extreme Download Manager enough. Go check it out. By using these free alternatives to paid software, you can have access to top-notch software without spending a dime. And if you want to keep ahead of the game and discover more free software, then you need to watch the video that's on screen now. I'm on a mission to find the hidden gems and pearls of free software and I want to share my findings with you. In this video, I'll be sharing 10 free software gems that can revolutionize the way you work, create content, enjoy media, and optimize your PC. I'll provide a quick overview of each program, highlighting its features and use cases, and I might even throw in some tips to help you get the most out of them. So, make sure to stick around until the end of the video, as I promise, you'll find a ton of value and information. Have you ever needed to take a screenshot quickly and easily, but found the process to be frustrating and time consuming? What if there was a tool that could streamline this process and help you capture and edit your screen images effortlessly? Screenshot is a free software that makes taking screenshots a breeze. Not only can you take screenshots of your entire screen, but you can also select a specific area or even a single window. Plus, Greenshot has a built-in editor that allows you to edit your screenshots. You can do things like add text, arrows, or even blur out sensitive info. If you've never tried using Greenshot before, go and download it right now. Have you ever forgotten the password to your email account and struggled to recover it? With this fantastic free software, you can easily recover your email account information without any hassle. It's quick, reliable, and will save you a ton of time and frustration. 
Mail Pass View, or Mail PV, is a small utility that can recover the passwords of many email clients, including Outlook, Windows Mail, and Thunderbird. Simply download and run the software, and it will display your email account information, including your username and password, and email server settings and ports. Just a heads up, you might need to disable your antivirus before downloading and running Mail Pass View, as it gets detected as a false positive by most antivirus software. Are you someone who works with text files often, whether it's writing, note-taking or coding? Then this next one is a must try for you. This text editor can make your work easier and faster, no matter what your needs are. Notepad++ is a free source code editor and notepad replacement that comes with tons of features that'll make your life easier, such as syntax highlighting for many programming languages, auto-completion, multiple document support, search and replace with regular expressions, and the ability to compare two documents side by side. It also supports various plugins that can extend its functionality even further. Say goodbye to basic text editors and hello to the ultimate writing and editing tool. Before we move on, if you want to discover new ways to optimize your PC or discover free software you might not have known about, you need to hit the subscribe button right now. I upload new videos at least once a week covering those topics and if you don't want to miss out, you need to make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Are you tired of using the same old web browser that lacks customization options and is slow to load? With this next fantastic free software, you can personalize your browsing experience, increase your productivity, and navigate the web with ease. Vivaldi is a free and privacy-focused web browser that's fast, customizable, and packed with features. You can customize the browser's appearance, use mouse gestures to navigate, create your own keyboard shortcuts, and even set up your email address in the browser. Vivaldi is built on the Chromium engine, which means it's compatible with all of your favorite Chrome extensions. This browser is fast, flexible, and packed with features that once you've tried it, you just might wonder how you ever lived without it. Are you looking for a more convenient way to use or experiment with different operating systems without having to switch between multiple devices or partitions? This next one has got you covered. VirtualBox is a free, open-source virtualization software that allows you to run multiple virtual machines on a single computer. You can install and run Windows, Linux, or even Mac OS X on your computer without having to dual boot or purchase a separate machine. If you want to discover the world of virtual machines, you can open the door by giving VirtualBox a try. Are you tired of struggling with unwanted programs and leftover files on your computer? or with a program that just refuses to uninstall? With this next free software, you can uninstall programs quickly and easily while ensuring that all associated files and registry entries are completely removed. Revo Uninstaller is a free uninstaller software that not only removes unwanted programs, but also cleans up any leftover files and registry entries. It also has a forced uninstallation feature that can remove stubborn programs that won't uninstall through the regular method. It's a must-have tool for anyone looking to clean up their computer and free up valuable storage space. Are you concerned about your privacy and looking for a way to take more control over your Windows settings? then you definitely need to give this next one a try, because it can help you achieve just that. ShutUp10 is a free software that allows you to control various privacy settings in Windows. You can disable telemetry, prevent apps from accessing your microphone and camera, and even disable automatic updates. With its easy-to-use interface and powerful features, you can have peace of mind knowing that your privacy is protected. ShutUp10 helps you take an important step towards safeguarding your personal information and keeping it out of the wrong hands. Give it a try. Are you looking for a fast and easy way to create a bootable USB drive? Look no further than the software we're about to reveal. With just a few clicks, you can have a bootable USB drive ready to go for all your installation needs. Rufus is a free, open source software that allows you to create bootable USB drives from ISO files. It's fast, lightweight, and easy to use. Plus, it supports a wide range of operating systems, including Windows, Linux, and even FreeDOS. The great thing about Rufus is that when creating a bootable Windows USB drive, it gives you the option to skip the privacy questions when installing Windows and also lets you create a default user profile. 
This can save you a lot of time if you need to install and set up Windows on a lot of computers. Do you also dislike the built-in Windows Image Viewer like I do? Well then you might want to seriously consider checking out this next one. Faststone is a free image viewer that supports all major image formats. It also has a built-in editor that allows you to crop, resize and adjust your images. Plus, it has a full screen mode that allows you to view your images without any distraction. Whether you're a professional photographer or just looking for a powerful image viewer and editor that replaces the Windows Photos app, this software is definitely worth checking out. Do you also find the changes to the right-click menu in Windows 11, well, a bit unnecessary? If you do, this next free software will change your life and don't worry, it works on Windows 10 too. Shell by Nilesoft is a context menu customizer that lets you do a few things like handpick items to integrate into the Windows File Explorer context menu, create custom commands to access all your favorite web pages, files and folders, and launch any application directly from the context menu. For me, it's a perfect replacement for the Windows 11 right-click menu. And if you're using Windows 10, it just looks a lot better than the Windows 10 right-click menu. Give Shell a try. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. If you've decided to give any of these free softwares a try, I want you to give me some feedback about the ones you tried in the comment section below. And while you're down there, feel free to share your own software recommendations too so we can all discover new software together. In this edition of my free software series, I'm going to reveal 10 free software that I regret not knowing about earlier. These free programs will be useful for anyone who owns a PC, with all of them being available for Windows, and some also being available for Mac OS and Linux as well. Let's get started. Flow Launcher is a free and open source utility tool that's dedicated to speeding up the workflow of Windows desktops and is available for Windows only. It's considered to be the counterpart of Mac OS's Spotlight search bar and helps you launch applications and search for files. It can also be used as a calculator or to search the web among other things and has a ton of community made plugins, one being ChatGPT which might be especially useful for all of you ChatGPT lovers. Flow Launcher can be opened by a simple keyboard shortcut, which is Alt and Spacebar by default, but can be changed to whatever you like. I personally use Control and Spacebar. Once the search bar is open, you can start searching for whatever app you want to launch or file you want to find, and then open it by hitting Enter. Flow Launcher is fast and easy to use and has plenty of helpful documentation and usage tips for you to have a look at. Everything is a search engine that locates files and folders by file name instantly and is available for Windows only. Unlike Windows Search, everything initially displays every file and folder on your computer, making it a lot faster and therefore better than Windows Search. Once everything is open, Simply search for whatever file you're looking for and it'll be displayed instantly. For some, the interface might look pretty outdated and that's why I personally have everything integrated into Flow Launcher and I suggest you do too. To do that, first click on Tools and then Options. Here, make sure that the Everything service is selected, then hit Apply and OK. Next. Search for everything.exe. Once it's found, right click on it and then select the option that says copy full name to clipboard. Close everything and then open Flow Launcher. Right click on the search window and then select settings. Next, select plugins, then explorer and then change these settings to everything. Next, select the everything setting tab and then paste the everything.exe file path you copied earlier. When that's done, you can close the Flow Launcher settings and then you'll have the full functionality of everything in the Flow Launcher search bar. Buzz is a free and open source audio transcription and translation tool that uses OpenAI's Whisper to provide very accurate transcriptions and translations. One thing that's great about Buzz is that it does all of these tasks offline on your computer after a model has been downloaded. You can choose to record your voice directly into Buzz 
or you can upload a file to be translated or transcribed and it supports most popular audio and video file formats. For the best results, I recommend using the media model and when you're ready, simply click on run. When it's done, simply double click on the completed item and then export it to your desired file type. If you want the document to have timestamps to use it as a subtitle track for example, then use SRT, otherwise use TXT. Next up is Bloaty Nosy. This powerful free Windows debloating tool lets you debloat Windows with one click and is specifically designed for and only works on Windows 11. The name Bloaty Nosy is derived from the terms bloatware and nosy, meaning intrusive or prying. And if you're concerned about your privacy in Windows 11, then Bloaty Nosy is a must-have. To use it, simply let it analyze your system and then click on Fix to debloat your copy of Windows. When it's done, it'll display a list of all the changes that were made to your computer. If you're not happy with the changes, you can revert it all by clicking on the Restore Default State button. File Converter is a very simple tool which allows you to convert and compress one or several files using the context menu in Windows Explorer. It's one of the easiest and fastest ways I know of to convert the most popular file formats for your documents, pictures, music and videos. You can use it by right clicking on a file that you want to convert and then selecting the file converter label on the context menu. Next, choose the format you would like to convert the selected file to and it'll be converted and saved in the same directory where the original file is saved. In the file converter settings, you can change and create new presets as well as change the quality of the different output formats. File converter is available for Windows only. Menu Tools is a simple program that extends the basic functionality of the Windows system menu by adding new tools to the system menu of any application or window that is open in Windows. When right-clicking on any window, you will see the following options. It allows you to change the priority and transparency of the selected window and adds a shortcut to minimize the window to the system tray. The most useful feature to me is the ability to pin the selected window as always on top, meaning that specific window will always be displayed over other windows until the always on top setting is toggled off again. Menu tools is available for windows only, but can be particularly useful for those of you only have one monitor. Moving on, we have Aomi Backup as Standard, which is the free version of the Aomi Backup as software. This free backup and restore software is packed with a lot of different useful features and covering them all in this video would take too long. Instead, I'll only be showing you what I find most useful. With Aomi Backupper, you have the ability to create a disk backup which will create an image file containing Windows along with its settings and all of your files and partitions on the selected drive. This image file can then be restored to any computer using Aomi Backupper even if the target computer has different hardware. This is a great way of performing a full backup or migrating your operating system to another computer. And what I love about Iomi is that it supports USB, so you can use it with external drives as well. Iomi Backupper is only available for Windows. Pico PDF is a free PDF editing software for Windows only. Its features include the ability to add text and images to a PDF file or encrypting it with a password. It can also be used to fill and sign PDF files and has a powerful OCR feature which can convert the text from scanned documents to editable files. The interface is easy to use and understand and represents that of most document editors. You have the different functions and edits that can be performed on the document at the top of the window with the page number and zoom slider at the bottom of the window. To use it, simply drag and drop a PDF file into the program and start editing it to your liking. Text Grab is a minimal OCR utility for Windows which makes all visible text available to be copied. It takes a screenshot passes that image to the OCR engine, then puts the text into the clipboard for use anywhere. 
Once installed, it can be accessed by keyboard shortcuts or you can find it in the system tray and then click on it. Let's select the following text on screen. And once it's done, it's automatically copied to the clipboard and ready for me to paste to any document I'm working on. Text Grab is only available for Windows, but is a must-have utility for those of you working with a lot of text. Ear Trumpet is a simple, easy-to-use volume control program for Windows that lets you easily control the volume of specific channels. It gives you the ability to control the volume of everything on your PC individually and is a very handy tool to have installed. Once installed, it can be accessed by clicking on the Ear Trumpet audio icon in the system tray and then allows you to change the volume of separate apps running on your computer. What I love about Ear Trumpet is, you can set up a shortcut to open the volume mixer anywhere in Windows. Which means you can have control over your volume in any full screen application, like a game for example. Ear Trumpet is only available for Windows, but is such a great utility that once you've tried it, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. Today, I'm going to reveal 15 of the most useful essential free software that has to be installed on a new PC. The software I'm about to reveal will be useful for anyone who owns a PC and they're all available for Windows, with some of them also being available for macOS and Linux. Without wasting any more time, let's go! First up on this list of essential utilities, we have the web browser. Mozilla Firefox, or simply Firefox, is a free and open source web browser developed by the Mozilla Corporation. Firefox is one of the few popular browsers that doesn't run on the Chromium engine, which is the open source browser project at the core of Google Chrome, and instead runs on Quantum. Quantum was completely rebuilt in 2017 by Mozilla to ensure Firefox can compete with other major browsers and it's now one of the fastest and most secure browsers available. The interface resembles that of any other web browser with tabs at the top of the window and is easy to use and navigate. Firefox also features add-ons and extensions where you will find most of your favorite and popular browser extensions. Firefox is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android and iOS. Staying with the Mozilla Corporation, sort of. Next up we have Betterbird, which is a fine-tuned version of Mozilla Thunderbird, or as they like to call it, Thunderbird on steroids. Thunderbird is a free and open source, cross-platform email client and calendar app which has been around since 2003 and Betterbird is a massive improvement on the original app. Betterbird is made by Thunderbird's former maintainer and adds new features and bug fixes to Thunderbird. The interface is simple, easy to use and resembles that of most email clients. You have the mailbox and its folders on the left of the window, the contents of the folder in the middle of the window with tabs of the open items at the top of the window. By default, Thunderbird does not have a message preview pane but Betterbird does. It can be toggled by pressing the F8 key on your keyboard. By the way, I'm always on the lookout for new useful software and cool tech tips and tricks. Let me know about some of the tools you prefer to use in the comments down below. And if software and tech interests you, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. I upload new videos at least once a week covering those topics. Next, let's take a look at some security software. Bitdefender Antivirus Free is one of the best free antivirus software you will find and is specifically designed to protect Windows computers from viruses, malware and other online threats. After downloading and installing Bitdefender Free Antivirus, you'll need to create a free account to use the software. You'll have access to their real-time protection, advanced threat defense and online threat protection in the free version. To access the other features, you'll need to upgrade to a paid version. And I have included a link in the description to help get you started. Staying on the topic of security software, 
ProtonVPN Free is a free and open source virtual private network software that allows you to connect to servers in three different countries and has no bandwidth or data limits. The free version also has no ads, does not keep logs of your online activity and is protected by Swiss privacy laws. You can easily find the free locations you can connect to on the left of the interface and once connected to a location, you will see a list of other free servers in that location you can also connect to. To access premium features, you will need to upgrade your plan and I've included a link in the description of this video to get you started. Proton VPN is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS and Android. Next up, we have file compression software. 7-Zip is a free and open source file archive utility and has been around since 1999. It has its own archive format called the 7Z format, but can read and write several others as well. It's integrated into the Windows shell menu when installed, and most relevant options can be accessed here. For more options, you can launch the 7-Zip file manager. 7-Zip is only available for Windows, but you can find some unofficial ports for macOS and Linux on their downloads page as well. Moving on to media playback for audio only, we have AIMP. AIMP is a free, powerful and lightweight audio player for PCs that also includes some other tools for working with audio files like an audio file converter and tag editor among others. This is what the interface looks like by default and will be fine for most users. But if you want, you can download and install different skins and there are a lot of awesome ones to choose from. They also provide instructions on how to install the skins and should you have any other questions, you can also visit their forum for more info. AIMP is available for Windows, Linux and Android and can be downloaded from their website. Just make sure you select the English language at the top right of the page if you don't understand Russian. Next up, we have Media Player Classic Black Edition, which is a free and open source video and audio player. It's based on the original Media Player Classic project but contains additional features and bug fixes. It's lightweight, meaning it doesn't use a lot of resources and supports mounting of ISO files. It also has the ability to save an image file of a specific frame in the video should that be something you need. Media Player Classic Black Edition is available for Windows and a Linux version is available via Wine. XNView MP is a free image viewer, editor and converter that supports all major graphic formats. It also has some other features like red eye removal, image resizing, cropping, retouching and color adjustments. This is what the image browser interface looks like and you can double click on an image file to view it. You can press F11 on the keyboard if you want to toggle between full screen or windowed view and it opens images in tabs. You can go back to the image browser by clicking on the browser tab. XNView MP is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. To start editing documents, you'll need an Office Suite. Only Office is a free Office Suite that combines text, spreadsheet and presentation software allowing you to create, view and edit documents and presentations. It's a great free alternative to Microsoft Office which is a paid app and it's also fully compatible with the MS Office file formats. The interface closely resembles that of Microsoft Office with their Word alternative being called Document, the Excel alternative being called Spreadsheet and the PowerPoint alternative being called Presentation. Only Office is available for Windows, Mac and Linux and also has a help center with various guides to help you get started with the software. You might only need to do basic text editing, in which case Notepad++ will be your go-to program. Notepad++ is a free and open source text and source code editor for Windows only. It supports tabbed editing, which allows working with multiple open files in a single window. It also has a dark mode which can be activated by clicking on settings and then preferences. Here go to the dark mode tab, then select dark mode and then click on close. 
If you're someone that regularly uses the built-in notepad in Windows, give Notepad++ a try. Next, we'll have a look at PDF software. Sumatra PDF is a free and open source PDF and ebook viewer for Windows only. It's a very basic and lightweight application, but it is extremely fast with many people leaving popular PDF viewers like Adobe Reader and Foxit Reader to use Sumatra PDF instead. It has a very basic interface and features a tabbed layout for open documents. There isn't much to say about Sumatra PDF other than it does exactly what it's supposed to do view PDF files and ebooks, if that's your thing. Still on the topic of PDF software, we have Pico PDF Editor. Pico PDF is a free PDF editing software with features that include the ability to add text and images to a PDF file or encrypting it with a password. It has an OCR feature which can convert the text from scanned documents to editable files and can also be used to fill and sign PDF files. The interface is easy to use and understand with the different functions and edits that can be performed on the document at the top of the window with the page number and zoom slider at the bottom of the window. You can drag and drop a PDF file into the program to start editing it and it allows you to perform a wide range of edits on the document. Pico PDF Editor is available for Windows only. Next, we'll need a backup and restore software. Aomi Backupper Standard is the free version of the Aomi Backupper software and has a lot of different useful features and I won't be covering them all in this video. Instead, I'll only be showing you what might be the most useful on a new copy of Windows. With Aomi Backupper, you have the ability to set up a backup schedule which will create a backup of all your most important files and folders. You can save this backup file on any external media such as an external hard drive, network drive or cloud storage. Just remember to confirm that the backups are completing successfully. Aomi Backupper is only available for Windows. Next up, we have a system maintenance and optimization tool. Glary Utilities by Glarisoft is a free all-in-one utility for cleaning and maintaining your PC and it includes more than 20 tools to maximize your computer's performance. The most basic way to use it is by going to the one-click maintenance menu, selecting these options and then clicking on scan for issues. If you're a more advanced user, you can head to the advanced tools tab and have a look at the different tools that they have to offer. Glary Utilities is available for Windows only. If you want to access your PC remotely, or any other PC remotely, you'll need a remote desktop software. AnyDesk is a free, secure and fast remote desktop application which allows you to connect to other devices running AnyDesk and offers remote control, file transfer and VPN functionality. The interface is easy to use and understand even for beginners. To connect to a remote computer, enter their AnyDesk address in the search bar and press enter. The remote user will then need to accept the connection. You can also set up unattended access by going to the hamburger menu in the top right and then clicking on password. Next, enter a password twice and make sure that unattended access is selected and then click on apply. You'll need to take note of your AnyDesk address and then you can access the device from anywhere remotely, provided you have an internet connection. AnyDesk is available for Windows, macOS, Linux, Android, iOS and many other operating systems. The first free software you need to download right now is Keyboard Let's. If you've never heard of this before, this useful little tool displays the caps lock, num lock and scroll lock state on the screen or system tray. Now I can already see the desktop users in the comments saying, but I can just look at my keyboard to get that info. Yeah, that is true for most desktop users, but did you know that the majority of new laptops and wireless keyboards do not have these LEDs? That's exactly why Keyboard LEDs was made and it's really simple to use. Here are the settings that I use and recommend for most people. With these settings, it'll display whether the num lock or caps lock is on or off, as you can see by me toggling these keys on the keyboard now. And then it will disappear after 3 seconds. Keyboard LEDs was created by a user called 
called Carpolin, and so were the next two free software on this list. Picture yourself in a meeting or public place like a library for instance. You open up your laptop to start working and suddenly there's a loud startup sound that disturbs everyone and they all look at you. That's why Automute exists. Automute gives you more control over the sound in Windows and it can help you silence your computer if a certain action takes place. For instance, you can automatically mute the sound of your computer when you log off, sleep or shut down your computer. Meaning all system sounds will be muted and the next startup will be completely silent. Now what I find the most useful is the ability to use a keyboard shortcut to toggle the system sound on or off as I'm doing now. Most new laptops and some desktop keyboards will have a button where you can toggle the system sound so you won't use this function all that much, but it can be quite useful on regular desktop keyboards. This next one is also not really applicable to newer laptops as most new laptops have a keyboard shortcut to prevent this. But it's still good to know about for those times we have to help our family members with their old laptops. Touchpad Blocker blocks accidental clicks on the touchpad when typing on a laptop keyboard and in my experience can be particularly useful for older folks who tend to use a normal mouse with their laptop but still use the built-in keyboard. This software prevents accidental clicks and mouse movements that might be caused by their arms leaning on or touching the touchpad while they're typing. Touchpad Blocker also allows you to completely enable or disable the touchpad with a keyboard shortcut, but this is only for touchpads made by Synaptics. Any video converter does exactly what it says in the name, but it actually has a lot more useful tools when it comes to basic video editing than just converting it to other formats. Apart from being able to convert video files to another format and changing the resolution, you can also use any video converter to do things like adding a custom watermark to your video, compressing a video, and my favorite, downloading videos from the internet. Any video converters video downloader is one of the best tools I've used so far for downloading videos from our most loved websites and it never lets me down. You just paste the URL of the video you want to download and then you can choose if you want video with audio, video only or audio only. You can also choose the format, bitrate and most importantly the resolution. Now the only catch here is that the free version of any video converter only allows for downloads up to 720p which isn't bad at all but if you want 1080p and higher you'll need to pay for the premium version. Staying on the subject of video editing, if you want an extremely powerful and absolutely free video editor with no strings attached, then you definitely need to download and install CapCut for PC. CapCut is constantly being updated with a lot of new features that you won't believe are free. Some of the most notable are the background removal, auto captions, and text-to-speech features. CapCut is available in an online editor, for mobile phones, and for desktop, which is the focus of this video. The default interface is easy to use and understand whether you're a beginner or you have experience with video editing software. CapCut has a built-in library of music and sound effects, pre-made titles, stickers, effects, filters and transitions and honestly these transitions are so good you might have to pay for them or preset packs containing them if you're using other video editing software. So the amount of value CapCut offers for free is just insane. One of the many great features in CapCut is how easy it is to remove a background from a video or even a still image. Simply select the color picker tool, choose the background color and adjust the strength to remove the background. CapCut also works quite well on low-end systems if you have proxy media and performance playback enabled. CapCut also allows for exports up to 4K resolution and contains no watermarks. It has a lot of other options I'll need to cover in another video, but for now, all you need to know is CapCut is on its way to be a really strong competitor to some of the best video editing software available today, like DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro, and it's doing it all for free. Product Key by Nearsoft recovers the Windows and Office product keys that are installed on your local computer or even the product keys from external locations like external hard drives or local networks for example. Trying to get product key downloaded and installed will be a nightmare if you don't turn off your antivirus as it'll be detected as malware and instantly deleted. But it's not a virus, trust me. When you run product key, it'll automatically display any Microsoft product keys you have installed on your system and if you want to recover the product keys from an external source, you can go to file and then select source. Once product key recovers the keys, you can save them in a text file and that makes it easy to copy and paste the product keys when installing or activating the software. 
Speaking of copy and paste, CopyQ will transform the way you copy and paste text on your computer. CopyQ is a clipboard manager with advanced features. Let me explain how it works. I'll copy some text, then I'll copy some more text, and then I'll copy even more text. Now I'll open CopyQ and then I have access to everything I just copied. I can edit the copied text in CopyQ and save it. What I like the most is I can create a tab in CopyQ, give it a name and then add copied items to that tab, which is really great for keeping notes or text that I'll need to copy and paste a lot in the future. I like to have the CopyQ icon visible in the system tray so I can have easy access to it by just clicking on it once and then from here I can copy any of the text from the clipboard that I I copied before. If you use more than one computer, maybe one at home and one at work, and you're at home but you need access to your work computer for example, you'll need a trustworthy remote desktop software. The only really completely free option that actually works is Google's Chrome Remote Desktop. You don't need to use the Google Chrome browser for it to work either. You can use any Chromium based browser and I'm sure it also works on Mozilla Firefox. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it on Firefox. To use Chrome Remote Desktop, you'll need to sign into your Google account and then head to the Google Chrome Remote Desktop website. From here you can start to set up remote access on the computer you want to control, which will involve adding the Chrome Remote Desktop extension to your browser and then running the installer to install it on your computer. Once that's done, you can give the computer a name and then choose a pin that you'll need to enter to get access to the remote computer. I don't know about you, but I don't want to send my usage statistics to Google, so I'll turn this off. Click on start and then you're done. I've done the exact same steps on my desktop computer and to access it remotely, I'll enter the pin I created, connect to it, and now I have full access to my other computer, which is in another location. These days, it's impossible to remember all of the passwords and login info we need when using the internet. Web browsers offer to save your login info and that's great and really convenient, but it's not safe. Because anyone can access these saved passwords if they get access to your computer and some malware are even able to extract all of these passwords from your browser in a matter of seconds. Bitwarden is one of the best free password managers available today that can offer much better security and peace of mind when it comes to your personal info and it's even available for mobile phones too. To start using it, you'll need to create a free account and a master password. This is important as the master password will give you access to all of the other passwords. Next, you'll need to add the Bitwarden browser extension and then you can start adding items to your vault by clicking on new item. Fill in the most important fields like your username, password and the URL for the website you're saving the login info for, scroll down and click on done. Click on the Bitwarden browser extension and log in if you haven't done so already and go to to the autofill settings. You can use the autofill on page load setting if you want, but that also poses some security risks as it can autofill your passwords on malicious websites and we don't want that. That's why I prefer to add an autofill keyboard shortcut. That way, when I need to enter the password, I can just press the keyboard shortcut and Bitwarden will autofill the password for the account I'm trying to sign into. Just as convenient as using the browser's password storage, but way more secure as Bitwarden uses advanced encryption methods to make sure your passwords stay secure. Bitwarden can be used for more than just login info. You can also add credit cards, identity info and secure notes. Although it might take some time getting Bitwarden set up for the first time, it's totally worth it. With the rapid advancement of artificial intelligence, we have access to so many new things that you won't believe. Upscale is a completely free and open source AI image upscaler that can enhance the quality of your low resolution pictures. Here I've generated a picture with the Bing AI image generator. I'll download it and you'll see if I zoom in on it, it becomes really pixelated. So I'll import the image into upscale and use it to upscale this image. If I compare the original with the upscaled image, you'll see the upscaled image looks much better compared to the original. Upscale has a few different upscaling types and I've created a separate video on it where I go a little bit more in depth on how it works and what you need to use it. Because there is a catch and it won't work on all computers. Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you 15 free software that you absolutely must know about and that you can't afford to miss out on. All of these utilities are available for Windows but some of them are also available on Mac OS and Linux as well. Now if you get any value out of this video please click the like button and subscribe to the channel but without any further ado let's get started 
Chris Titus Tech's Windows Utility is one of the free tools I've come to love the most throughout 2023 as it just makes your life as a Windows user so much easier. It's a simple utility that can be launched by running a PowerShell script that then lets you do various things like bulk install software, deep load and tweak Windows. You can use it for some cool tweaks like protecting your privacy, uninstalling Microsoft Edge and it can even help you disable Windows updates permanently. This is a great free tool everyone should know about, no matter if you're an IT professional, gamer or everyday Windows user. Winero Tweaker is another program that lets you tweak Windows and this utility has a lot of tweaks, and I mean a lot. It's split between different categories so you can easily get what you're looking for and you can even search for a tweak in the search bar. There are just too many tweaks so I won't even try and cover them all in this video but it's basically a collection of a bunch of registry tweaks for Windows and you can even see how each tweak works in detail by selecting a tweak and then clicking on this button which will take you to a web page explaining that tweak in detail. If you're into customizing Windows, you need to check out Winero Tweaker. Microsoft Power Toys is something you've probably seen on other free software videos as it's becoming more and more popular these days. It's a set of very useful free utilities that are designed to improve productivity and add more customization for Windows users. At the time of this video, there are more than 20 utilities in PowerToys, so I won't name all of them, but some of the most useful are the Always on Top utility that lets you pin windows above other windows, the Color Picker, Image Resizer, and Mouse utilities. Bleachbit is a lightweight application that helps you quickly free up disk space by deleting cookies, clearing your internet history, and deleting temporary files, among other things. It can be compared to other popular cleaners like CCleaner for example, but Bleachbit is just more trustworthy as it focuses on putting your privacy first and it's also open source. The next time you want to speed up your computer and clear out all of those junk files that build up over time, give Bleachbit a try. Ventoy is a game changer when it comes to creating bootable USB flash drives. It's an open source tool that lets you create bootable USB flash drives, but instead of creating a bootable USB flash drive with a single ISO file on it, you can copy multiple ISO files onto it and even keep on using the flash drive for everyday use. You simply install Ventoy onto the USB flash drive, then copy any ISO files that you'll want to boot from to the USB flash drive. And when you boot from that USB flash drive, you should be seeing a screen where you can select which ISO file you want to boot from and then just boot in normal mode. It's that simple. It's a great tool for IT professionals who need to have access to a lot of different troubleshooting tools, but can even be particularly useful for creating a recovery USB flash drive with all of the ISO files on it that you'd need to fix your computer once it's crashed. Policy Plus is a free group policy editor for Windows Home users and if you don't know what a group policy editor is, let me explain. It's a system utility that allows you to view and edit various advanced settings on your computer and it's only part of the pro and better editions of Windows meaning Windows Home and Home Single Language users don't have access to a group policy editor and in turn can't edit these advanced settings. Policy Plus fixes that and gives Windows Home users all of the control that Windows Pro users have in terms of editing these group policies. OBS Studio is arguably the best free screen recorder for PC. It's open source and it's available for Windows, Mac and Linux. OBS Studio is what I use to record my screen when creating the tutorials on my channel and it's also used by millions of others worldwide for screen capture and even live streaming. It can be confusing to set up and configure when you first install it but there are a bunch of tutorials online that'll show you how to set it up with the best settings if you're just getting started. So if you ever need to record your screen, don't even waste time looking for other software. Just use OBS Studio. Translucent TB is a lightweight Windows app that allows you to customize your taskbar and in particular, make it translucent or transparent. When you have it installed, you can access the settings by clicking on the Translucent TB icon in the system tray and then you can change the settings to your liking. But for most people who only want a transparent taskbar, the default settings will be just fine. Wise Force Deleter is an excellent app that has saved me a ton of frustration when it comes to files and folders that just refuse to be deleted. 
I use Google Drive to share files between my work and home computers and sometimes when I encounter a sync issue, there are just some files and folders that can't be deleted by Windows. With Wise Force Deleter, I can just add that file or folder to the queue and then click on unlock and delete and it'll be deleted, saving me from all of that frustration. Wise Folder Hider is another useful tool by the same company that basically lets you hide and password protect files and folders on your computer. Once it's installed on your system, you can just drag a folder that you want to hide and password protect into the Wise Folder Hider app and then use the app to password protect that file or folder. It's a really simple but powerful and effective utility. There are a lot of system info and hardware monitoring apps out there, but one of my favorites is the Libre Hardware Monitor. It's a fork of the original Open Hardware Monitor project, which seems to have been abandoned since early 2021. Libre Hardware Monitor displays a lot of useful info about your system, like the temperatures, fan speeds, voltages, load, and clock speeds of your computer. It's lightweight, free, and open source, and my go-to when I need this type of info on any system. Norton's Power Eraser is a very useful tool when it comes to removing malware and viruses from your computer. It's a small portable executable file that scans your computer and then matches the results to a list of trusted and malicious applications and then provides recommended actions based on those results. It's a really powerful tool to use when it comes to disinfecting malware infected computers. Take note of it, cause someday you might need it. ADW Cleaner or Adware Cleaner does exactly what it says in the name. It removes adware from your computer. It's an easy to use program that's owned by Malwarebytes, another great security tool for protecting your computer. ADW Cleaner scans your computer for any adware, malware or potentially unwanted programs and then gives you the choice to remove these items. I personally run ADW Cleaner first and then do a scan with Malwarebytes afterward. The combination of these two always helps greatly in removing malware and viruses from a computer and in turn makes it a lot faster too. PhotoRec is arguably the best free file recovery software available today. It's free and open source and it's available for Windows, Mac and Linux. PhotoRec can recover basically any file type that you can think of and from any file system that you can think of, even if the file system has been damaged. If you ever need to recover accidentally deleted files or need to perform data recovery on faulty drives or SD cards, give PhotoRec a try. WSA or Windows Subsystem for Android is basically an Android emulator for Windows that's developed by Microsoft. Once you have it installed, you can use it to run Android apps and Android games on your Windows computer. Officially, it's only available for Windows 11 and devices that support Windows 11. But there is an unofficial version by a GitHub user called MustardChef that can be installed on Windows 10 as well if your computer meets the specs required to run it. I hope this video has been useful. Please give it a like if you found any value from it. And if you're interested, you can check out the tutorial on screen now that'll show you how to download and install the Windows subsystem for Android on your computer. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.